This was the last of my summer 2021 dives up Indian Arm. After this, the weather turned decidedly colder and stormier. This red rock crab looked huge, so I set it down in front of my camera, expecting it to put on a show. But it just disappeared under some kelp, never to be seen again. This area looked like perfect lingcod habitat. Lots of large boulders with places for ling to hide and plenty of prey. Years of fishing restrictions should have allowed lingcod populations to rebound. So I was keeping my eyes peeled for ling. I did find a few red dendronotids at this location. Also, a giant nudibranch, and the nudibranch's prey, tube-dwelling anemones. Down between 40 and 50 feet, there was a huge swarm of mycid shrimps. I'd seen mycid swarms on every dive up Indian Arm this summer, but this one was by far the largest and the most dense. Here I'm zooming in, so you can get an idea of what the mycids look like. The shallows contain the usual Indian arm assemblage of copper and brown rockfish. Well, for the first time up Indian arm this year, I found a school of quillback rockfish down deeper. If you watch the right side of the screen, you can see a lingcod sneak in to check me out while I'm repositioning one of my cameras. The camera has a flashing blue lead, and I suspect that startled a seal which came by to check out my handiwork. So in the end, I had great viz and lots of sunshine, but I was disappointed that there weren't more lingcod at this location.